Today's the day. Today is the day that I asked Sophie, Amelia Carr's father, if I can get his blessing to marry his daughter. Now, unfortunately, he is in the UK, so I can't speak to him personally. That would have been amazing. And uh, I could wait until I go there in December, but you know, I want to make it special for Sophie and I want to make it special for us. And it's, it's a special thing, you know, it's literally going to happen once in my life. And I want to make it special for, for the both of us and especially for her, of course. So um, I know the right thing to do is obviously to call or to speak to her father and ask for his blessing first. So I think that is, that's the first step to this whole process. Um, it is quite early if you see the date it is the 25th of July. Now, by the time you see this video, it'll probably be late September. Uh, I'm planning on asking her on the 28th of September on our one year anniversary or one year dating anniversary. So I think it's going to be quite special. She, well, I think she's not going to expect like a proposal because we're going to have be romantic anyway it's going to be a one year celebration so everyone's going to be romantic and there's picnics and stuff i don't even know what we're going to do precisely but i de i definitely think that she's not going to know what's coming and that's the whole purpose so super excited oh my gosh i love this woman so much um I mean, I can speak for ages. I can probably make an hour YouTube or podcast about just how much I love Sophie, but that's not what this video is about. It's supposed to be entertaining. We're gonna ask her to marry me. Let's see what she says. All right, so my heart is beating in my chest. Um, it's time to call. So let's see, let's see what happens. Hey! Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? How are you? All good. right, thanks. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you, sir. You busy? So, I wanted to speak to you alone, in person. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's a tough one for me um, because I, you know, of course, I've, I've, I wanted to be there to speak to you personally. Um, yeah. Because it's it's not a small thing. It's it's really big for me. Um, I've you know it, I'm only gonna do this once in my life. So um, I really love your daughter a lot. I I've never felt this way before. It's so effortless. She feels like a friend, and she feels like a companion, and she feels like a a, a gym partner, and she feels like a movie watcher with me and she's a cook and well, like we cook together it's just there's a type of friendship that I never thought that I would get from someone and uh, she makes me feel comfortable and we have late night chats about God and about all topics in life stuff that I've never had with anyone else so you know she, I, I, I really can't actually see living my life without without her you know and um and for that reason, obviously, I want to ask um, for your blessing to to marry her, you know, and to ask her to to be with me forever. I put you out in misery, Roche. All right, we we you know we 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 love meeting you, okay, and it's it, it's clear that you love Sophie very much. Yeah, look, you have my blessing. And there it is. <laughs> wow, uh, I feel so relieved. I'm so so happy. What a lovely man. Um, honor to, you know, to have him as basically a future father-in-law. That's going to be interesting and fun. Um, yeah, just such a such a lovely man. Um, Kind-hearted and just loving and just this amazing person. So. Uh, I'm sucking up now already, as you can see. <laughs> but um, just so stoked that that is done, and I can just focus on you know cre creating the most epic you know fairy tale that Sophie has ever experienced. Well, oh, let's go. All right, super super excited because I am on my way to pick up the ring. Yep, 
the one ring to rule them all. No, I'm kidding. Um, super excited because, you know, it's obviously here. Apparently they say the ring burns your pocket or something like that. Like once you have it, you just want to ask the person because you're so excited and you have the ring and all those beautiful things. But you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit because I love this girl. Um, oh, I love it. All right. So unfortunately, I made a little mistake. Um, the ring was there, of course, but I had to send it off for resizing. I forgot about the resizing. So we need to resize it. And then I was contemplating and looking at getting it engraved with something special. Um, something that Sophie and I obviously share. Well, I believe that it's something that we share and I think, I think it's gonna be great. So, but you'll obviously see that once I get the ring. Yay! All right guys, so it is the 11th of September and it was the day that I picked up the ring. There's 10 days left before she lands and she doesn't know, you know, any of these things. Uh, I mentioned to her in a, in a video call that I got a gift for her today, you know, um, but it's small, you know, nothing, it's nothing big, it's just something small. Um, and I think this is actually very small. It's so cute because when they resized it, the, when I saw it, it was like, you know, a ring, but now it's even smaller. So it just looks so cute and I can't wait to see her um, wearing this, of course. But it's not about the ring anyway, you know, to be honest, I think the question itself, I, I, I you know, I, I, I do take it very seriously. I know I'm making a vlog and I'm like excited about these things. And I thought, you know what, it's just a memory. I might post this, I might not. Um, I'll obviously find out if Sophie wants to post it because it is quite personal. But also just a, a great memory to share with, with people the moment, you know. But for me, you know, the question itself is, is a big one. You know, you're asking someone if they want to spend the rest of their life with you. And that's quite intense and um, just yeah I just I'm not taking that lightly at all um, and I bought this ring as a symbol of course to tell her that I want to spend my life the rest of it until the day I die I want to spend it with her so super excited let's go and another thing the box that I got from where I bought the ring I just I don't know I didn't feel like it was soft enough it was beautiful enough so I drove all the way to Paul which is like 75 kilometers to find this soft beauty this is gonna be mm, this is gonna be so beautiful so the ring is gonna be in there I just think like if you feel it it's so soft especially on the top here and I think uh, I think it's just gonna make that ring pop oh and it just looks better than than that hard shell so really cool i just arrived at the airport to pick up sophie my future wife i got her some flowers i also got her some biltong from south africa so let's go pick her up there she is the beautiful girl <laughs> you can see the cars full of wood sophie and i are heading to our little destination having a chocolate and um, you yeah. know it's gonna be fun fully loaded box meal okay, so. I'm walking up this hill alone trying to find a spot to have a picnic um, I told Sophie that we're gonna have a picnic and that she has to write 12 things one for every month that we've been together because it's, it's our one year anniversary tomorrow so that's what she thinks the celebration is about so we're gonna you know read each other 12 things that we love it, about each other but she doesn't know that I'm gonna read my 12 but then I'm also gonna propose so I hope everything works out I'm trying to find like a decent place where 
you don't really see any roads and things like that because that's important and i'm just happy to be here just isolated can't wait what she to hear what she says they also have this little bad boy a little outdoor shower you can just go like which is quite cool because i mean basically you have a shower and you have this whole view of well this will this will be your view when you take a shower so you're like engulfed in in bush which i think is pretty cool yeah anyway um today's our anniversary Just a little, just a little anniversary video. Happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy anniversary! This is our <laughs> second day. Yeah. I mean, no, it's our first day, but it's our second day here. Yeah. And first it's our night. Anniversary, and we look great. <laughs> <laughs> Not like we just woke up. I think up. we look fantastic, really. Let's have a coffee. Three different rests. We've got oh, yeah, peak and bran nuts. We've got coconut, coconut uh, rusks. And then some rusks that they gave us. But let me, let me show you what we have here, actually. Uh, this is kind of like a tent vibe. It's pretty cool. So, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, just a tent. It's still early in the morning, like 7 o'clock. Maybe 6.30 to be honest. And as you can see, it's just bush. That's all it is. Sun is just coming out. And then we have this bad boy that we enjoyed last night. A little hot tub. It's quite nice. With a view of the bushes. So, yeah, fairly, fairly chilled. ready for the picnic you're looking so beautiful <laughs> you're so beautiful samosas are you gonna read to reach you. well i think i think maybe you want to look at your god first that's mm. pretty cool that is pretty cool that is like legit mm. Yep, go for it. Dear Roche, one year together. I feel so lucky to have you and want you to know every day how much I love you. Nice so and here, loud. So here are just 12 of the many things I love about you um, and being able to call you mine. I love how much you care for and give to those you love. You work so hard for me, your family and Aussie. I love watching you play with Ozzy, and I know you'll be an amazing dad one day. I love holding your hand wherever I go. I feel safe and always proud to be seen as yours. I love how patient you are with annoying clients, boring work, but particularly with me when I rush and make mistakes or close off when I'm stressed. I love when I wake up next to you in the morning and you pull me into a little cuddle. It's a perfect start to my day. I love how generous you are, especially with your time. Your life is so busy juggling lots of different roles, but you are the best boyfriend and I always feel special to you. I love the cheeky smile and look you give me when you say something to wind me up and make me laugh. I love the way you make me feel like I can achieve anything I set my mind to. I love how grounded and humble you are despite being so talented and having achieved so much. You're never arrogant despite being the smartest, strongest, hottest, most capable man. I love seeing your sexy bum when you come out of the shower in the morning and I'm still in bed. <laughs> I love how you'll always try and make me laugh and joke when I'm down even when you're having, not having the easiest time. I love how you talk and dream about the future. I'm so excited for our future together because I know with you it will be amazing. 
especially if this past year is anything to show for it. You make me so happy and I love you so much and I can't wait for many more years together. Whoa! Thank you. You're welcome. I like the bum one. <laughs> you like the bum one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> what is kind of weird? Just standing here in the, <laughs> well, in the middle. Well, I was sat down for mine. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Anyway, let's do this. Okay. To the love of my life, <laughs> Sophie. 12 things I love about you. Let's start from the beginning. I love your back. <laughs> the day I met you in the gym, you were training back and I thought, wow, I have to somehow introduce myself. Your back has played a big role in our relationship. <laughs> Number two, I love your chest. And no, I'm not talking about your breasts or pecs, <laughs> but more about what lies beneath. That beautiful heart that softens even the toughest man. A heart that loves unconditionally. I love your smile. You have this incredible way to make everything seem just fine in my life when I see you smile. Number four, I love your heart. I love your hands. Everything you touch really does turn into gold. Your art is only one example, but there are so many more. Number five, I love your accent. It always <laughs> makes me feel like I'm in a foreign country, even if we're just chilling at home. I love your calmness. I can be quite busy and all over the place sometimes, and you have a way to calm me down. I love your mouth, not only just for the amazing kisses, but the kind words that you speak when I need it the most. I love your support. You always believe in my dreams, no matter how crazy they may sound. I love your faith, that you believe in God, and that you go to Him for advice and for guidance. I love your loyalty and, and that you trust me. I've never felt more secure in a relationship. You make me feel like I'm the main number one guy. I love your soul. You take away your beauty and your body, and deep down, I can feel your soul and it's overwhelmingly beautiful. Number 12, you make me want to be and become a better man. It's, uh, it's quite intimidating, you know, no matter what age you are, to be, you know, a man <laughs> uh, and to want to provide and all these things that, that life throws at us. Um, but somehow with you in my life, I feel like like I can do it and I want to do it and you push me to do it even more and I don't want to lose that like this boy has turned into a man <laughs> and I don't want to lose you um, I want this in my life for longer and forever really so <sighs> I want to ask you if you want to if you would marry me and make me the happiest man in the world. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You will? Yeah. Is it this hat? <laughs> so sad. I resized it for you. Oh my gosh. There we go. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Now we can just pop champagne. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> it's not perfect, but... It's perfect. You ready? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That was pretty impressive. And they, they probably were going to kill us for that. Yeah. There we go. It's my fiance. <laughs> so That's you can. crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> all right guys so it's been five or six hours of being engaged <laughs> and she hasn't run away yet 
She Not hasn't yet. run away. I mean, I can't really escape from here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I've already heard about either having a fruitcake or something as a wedding. <laughs> so I can imagine what the next year or whenever the date will be. There's going to be a lot of wedding chat. A lot of wedding chat, which <laughs> I'm also very excited about because I love you so much. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is very special for me and for Sophie. So we wanted to say thank you for joining us on the road. And <laughs> there's going to be a lot of videos now because now we are basically going to be together forever. Can't escape. Mm. All right. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good day. I will chat soon.